We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is Friday, September 4th. And we are still at my mom's house. We're about to go off to a workshop that we will tell you about maybe next week or something. And in the meantime, we're about to take off and we're about to make some vegetable juice, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Now, what we've been doing is we've actually, we make our vegetable juice, but before we make our vegetable juice, we make a shot of something and it is in wheatgrass. We do sprouts, sprout juice. Check it out. We just bought this from the farmer's market. Look how beautiful it is. Those are sunflower greens. Now also, we're just continually sprouting broccoli sprouts. We've got this guy going right now. All you do is pretty much soak them overnight, and then you put them in a nut milk bag, and then you hang them, and you keep them moist like a couple times of the day. And then you have all these sprouts, and you can make massive amount of sprouts for pennies on the dollar, and we just juice them. And it's really awesome when you're juicing them. I mean, babe, maybe we should tell them the benefits of sprouts and sprout juice versus just standard vegetable juice. Sure, well they're, they're so young, you know, there's so much life energy in sprouts. Imagine all those tiny little sprouts have the potential to turn into whole huge plants and you're harnessing all of that life energy when it's really young and vibrant and um, they have a massive amount of life enzymes, all kinds of nutrients. If you're having something like broccoli sprouts especially, massive amount of nutrients and they're very easy to digest. And they're alive. I mean, leafy greens, you know, you get them at the health food store. They've been shipped for miles on end, and they were picked, like, days ago. And sprouts, are they're still growing. Yeah. Crazy. Very vibrant. Yes. Okay, so we're about to use the Green Star Juicer, and I'm seriously just going to start juicing sprouts. And then we're just going to take, we're going to drink it. Yeah. Okay. Now... I'm kind of, I feel kind of bad about this next part. Maybe baby could film this. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of holding back on this before because I didn't want everyone who has a Vitamix to get all sad and stuff like that. Because, you know, k -Techs are awesome, but check it out. <clears throat> they have a second type of thing that works on the same k -Tech. This, As you can see, this one is bigger, right? Mm -hmm. And not only is it bigger... If you look inside, look at the blades. The bigger one has longer blades. So it's four inches instead of three inches. And what that does is it blends it down much easier and there's so much more open space and it moves slower because of the longer blades and it doesn't oxidize as much and it's more effective at the same time. It's profound. I mean, this is this doesn't come with the K-Tag. You gotta buy it separately. So you don't need to blend stuff as long. You don't have to blend it as long, and it's easier. There's more room for like getting stuff out. There's more space inside the blender. Wow. It's profound. Wow. Now the d benefit of a Vitamix. Everybody's asking us, you know, because I'm promoting the. I'm not promoting anything. I like Vitamix. I like this. It's just what what's going on here. Now a Vitamix has a pusher. That's awesome. This doesn't. However, it's unlikely you'll need a pusher with this guy. But still, besides that, um, I don't know. I can't think of any other benefits about the Vitamix. Cool. There is nothing like this blender. I just like tore a piece, freeze-dried durian figs in like three seconds, and Angela made an entire energy soup. How was the experience? It was really cool. It's... I think that's the most powerful blender combination I've ever used actually. It was so fast and usually when I make my energy soup and then I taste a little bit of it, it's like a little bit warm. But this was like, I blended it and then I tasted a bit and it was still totally cold. Like the vegetables had just come out of the fridge. And that's because of the long blade with the bigger crap. Yeah, so like it got totally blended down. Look, it's totally smooth. But it didn't get like heated up, and so presumably could it handle more at once. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I just made like a bowl of soup, but I'm sure it could handle even more. This is awesome, guys. Four-inch blade on the K-Tech. You guys, 
I just blended this stuff that would have taken forever in a regular blender, and I went and stuck my fingers in it like I did. It was cold. It's still cold. It's cold. Four-inch blade, K-Tech blender. Check it out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Angela Stokes Monarch is cutting away. Yeah, so I like to get as low down as possible on the sunflower greens when you're cutting them. Because, well, you know, Anne Wigmore actually said that the most nutritious parts are like the roots, like way down, the very bottom parts. So sometimes if I'm just eating them like straight from here, I'll just pull them out like the whole root system. Um, it's not doing it right now. But um, if you can get out the roots and they're not very dirty, then I sometimes just eat like the whole thing that way. Um, but yeah, it's good to get them from like really low down. So we got those sprouts. We've been making sprouts in our sprout bag. Check that out. This whole thing used to be filled for pennies on the dollar, but we've been juicing them. We use a lot, and we just keep rotating it every single day with, um, we start new sprouts, and we get sprout juice every single day for pennies on the dollar, probably even cheaper than other vegetables. And they're the most nutritious. Also, we have some more sprouts right there, and we're about to juice them all. Check it out. Alright, so we cut down a load of sunflower greens and now we're going to juice them. Woo! Looks like you got some other sprouts there too besides sunflower. Yeah, that's the garden mix sprouts from the site. Um, and I, it's a really nice mix. I don't actually remember what's in there. It's something like alfalfa, clover, radish, something like that. Look how much juice it's already made. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So yeah, we've got sunflower greens and a mixed garden salad of baby sprouts going in this. And broccoli. I put some broccoli there. Oh, and broccoli too. Cool. Yeah, broccoli sprouts have a supposedly a massive amount of um, anti-cancer nutrients in them. Alrighty, check it out. Wow. That is a live sprout juice, ladies and gentlemen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and put it in my new K-Tech blender carafe <laughs> that's four inches longer blade. Put it right through the nut milk bag. And then just straight out sprout juice, no fiber. Oh, it doesn't get better than this. It doesn't get better than this. Yummy. Straight from the farmer's market. They're alive. They're still alive. And you can taste it too. And you don't need to get them from a farmer's market, by the way. You can grow your own sunflower greens wherever you live. And Solar we, grows them in Iceland. We grew the other ones. Yeah. Oh my god, look at all this. Wow. What is it? That's like eight ounces each? Is that right? Six ounces? Something like that. Chin chin? Chin chin. Whoa. Wow. That's just life going right in. This is really like a blood transfusion. Hardcore. So the question of the day is, post it down below. Where do you get your protein from? Where do you get your protein from? Post it down below. We get ours from Sprout Juice. And we got... Angela Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch. Drinking Sprout Juice. And we'll see you tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.